Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be doing a how I bake and package my Halloween orders. Once it's all um, like cooled and set, then I'm gonna come back and I'll be decorating and then packaging up all of the orders. They're postal orders, so it's slightly different to normal orders because you have to make sure that there's plenty of bubble wrap and everything in there because you don't want them to get damaged. Um, so yeah, and I thought I would include like my labeling, all of my um, like packaging and where I get it from. So yes, um, I hope you enjoy. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and we're gonna get right into it. We're going to start by putting them in the oven, so I've mixed everything together, so they now go in for 25 minutes. So I test them at about 22, just to make sure, but I cook them at 160. So I've mixed all of my chocolate, so this is just white chocolate melted, and then we're going to move on and start making the fondant toppers. So I've just made the RIP like tombstones, which are just out of... Um, it's just Tesco's sugar paste, you can buy it from anywhere, it's, it's not the modelling paste, I just use the standard sugar paste. For the tombstones I just used a food pen, I got mine from Hobbycraft and it's just a black pen and then I used a paintbrush so I put some of the black ink on the chopping board and then I used a little paintbrush to write out the RIP and then it dries within say 10 minutes or so. Um, so yeah, you just paint it on there and then it dries really easily. So I'm just currently making the pumpkins. So I'm just rolling them into balls. I'm making four because I put two on each brownie. And then I use a couple of different tools to make the little imprints to make them look more like pumpkins. So I'm just sort of flattening them a little bit on the top to make them a bit more like a pumpkin. Um, so I'm using this tool to create a little dip. And then that's where the stalk is going to go. So I'm just repeating this on all of them. You can make different sizes. Uh, when I've made them before, I've made like a mini one and then a bit bigger one. It's up to you how big or small you make them. So now all of those little dips are in there. We're just going to get the stalks ready. So I'm putting some food colouring in some sugar paste. I use the Colour Splash. I really like all of their um, food colourings but you can use like Colour Mill I'd recommend or Pro Gel, any of those are fine. Um, sugar Flare as well. I'm just putting a bit of icing sugar down to stop the fondant from sticking. Sometimes if it goes a little bit sticky, either if it's warm or if it's just like where you've put enough food colouring in to make it a little bit moist, then you might want to use some icing sugar which will just dry it out a little bit more. So I'm just sort of kneading that a little bit and then I'm just going to create four stalks for our pump. So once you've made all of your stalks, I'm just getting some piping gel here. You can use water, I prefer piping gel, and it's just to attach the stalks on, so I'm just brushing it in the little indent that we've made. And then I'm just going to place the stalk in there, and then eventually they will dry and it will just stay in there pretty easily. So now I'm using a tool, I got this from Hobbycraft, I'll link it down below. But it is so handy, I use it for literally all of my fondant designs. Um, so it's got a scalpel on one end and then it's got a just, it's kind of just like a spike on that end. So I'm literally just laying the spike into the pumpkin to create those indent lines. And it just works really, really well. So I think it's more about the technique rather than the tool. I find that you can do quite a lot with just simple tools. So now I'm just attaching the stalk in there now that I've made the indents because you don't want to do it before because then when you're making the indents the stalk's going to get in the way. So I'm just going to carry on doing these on all four pumpkins. So I think you get the gist. So we'll speed past the other two and yeah, just continue to add the little stalks in there and then they will be left to dry for a little while. Um, I usually give them 
maybe 30 minutes and then you can sort of pick them up without damaging them um, you can give them more time if you have it but if you don't then um, I usually find that half an hour to an hour is fine for them to sort of firm up a little bit now we're on to decorating the brownies so I've just got this green melted chocolate so I'm just drizzling that over so this is for the pumpkin patch design which the fondant pumpkins will be on and then this one is for the graveyard so this one you have to smooth it all over the brownie so it looks like grass whereas the other one is drizzled a bit more messily um, so that's why they look different so one will have the little RIP and then the other will have freehand you just create a cross and then you just do circles to make the web then I'm using some I think these are smarties and I got the orange ones they also do pink ones um, I think they're kind of meant for Christmas but um, you can use them as spiders and then I've got orange chocolate which I use for the legs of the spiders so i think now we're doing the mummies so i'm sorry about the camera angle i didn't realize but you just sprinkle white chocolate on there and then you put two little eyes and then later on we're going to be adding fake blood to the brownies so that will finish off the mummies and the r.i.p gravestones so i'm just putting eyes on the second batch there I think my camera actually cut out um, when I was putting the blood on, so sorry about that, but you'll get to see it when I'm boxing them up. So now I'm just prepping all of the postal boxes. So there's three boxes going out in this video. So I'm getting all of the tissue paper ready and then filling the boxes up with that. And any stickers that need to go in there will also be going in there. Any gift messages, um, any logo stickers on the outside. So it's just so that once I get the brownies out the fridge, once they're all set, the boxes are all ready to go. So I just do them all at the same time rather than as I go. So we're on to the third one. Just again, filling with tissue paper, just making it look pretty. And then we're going to be putting a sticker on the outside. So these are my big logo stickers. There we go. And then I think, I thought that I ran out of logo, like the bigger logo stickers, but I actually didn't. So I used a smaller one on here, but I recently found the bigger stickers. So 
I just went to get the gift notes and then I've written them out. As you can see in the boxes, the orange little gift message is in there. So this is box number one. So there's Frankenstein, Oreo, Spider, Spider's Web and the Mummy. So you can kind of see the blood on the mummy. I'm just throwing in some little chocolates I got from Tesco's. These are just milk chocolate balls and they're just solid chocolates. And then I've got some little edible spider webs, which I'm throwing in there. So that's box one done. I'm going to be adding bubble wrap in there afterwards, but I like to do that all at the end. So we're on to the second box. So these are the two left. So I'm just matching them to the notes here so that I get them right. So there's a graveyard in there, which again, you can see the blood I've added. Then we've got a mummy, Oreo spider and a pumpkin patch. Then again, I'm just sprinkling some chocolates in there and the little edible spider webs. So that's the second one done. And then this is the last one. As you can see, I've put some little um, Halloween stickers in there as well. And again, I'm just matching up the order. I didn't get it on film, but I also put allergy stickers in the boxes. Um, because you do have to give a full allergen list for postal items. So that is everything. Those are the three boxes. I'm just getting some photos now and I'm going to finish with bubble wrap. Hello guys, I'm just popping in to outro this video. Um, so I didn't actually film any more than you would have seen. It got a little bit stressful by the end of the video. Um, so I basically had someone that um, hadn't confirmed their designs for their brownies. So because these were done on Etsy, um, people were meant to type in what flavors they want in the box, but this woman just wrote in a gift message. She didn't actually write in what flavor she wanted. So I didn't want to send it because I don't want to obviously send her the wrong thing. She's paid for it. So I messaged her like three times at three different occasions to say like, hi, thank you for your order. Please, can you confirm? And then she didn't get back to me. So I said, you need to get back to me by 3 p.m. If you want this sent out today. And I mean, even to this day, it's now Friday um, and I sent them on Wednesday and she still hasn't replied. So um yeah, that's interesting, but I'm glad that I didn't wait because I was thinking, do I wait until the next day to see if she replies? And then I was like, right, I'm just going to pick four random ones. And then if she says anything, I'll just say that if you wanted them by Halloween, then you weren't going to get them if you were going to wait. But yeah, so it got very stressful um, and I was going to wait to do her order and then I decided to do it. And because they weren't decorated, um, that delayed me. So all the other orders were ready in the fridge. They just needed to be put in like postal bags. Um, and then I was like, right, she still hasn't replied. It's half three. So then I did hers and then it pushed me back and made me sort of late. Um, so I was literally at quarter to five. I was still packaging up and the post goes at five. And if it hadn't gone on Wednesday, then it wouldn't have got there for Friday, um, which is today. So hopefully they've all got there. Um, but yeah, so it was super stressful. My sister was like putting stuff in bags for me because I was literally shaking when I was writing the addresses because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna miss the post, like it's gonna go. And then I got to the post office and I got there literally a couple of minutes before five. She said, I said, oh my God, has it gone? Like, um, I've been in such a mad rush. And then she was like, no, it's not left yet. It leaves at five past, like it comes at five past, sorry. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. Someone else, someone is like looking out for me, God. Um, so I posted all the orders, which is amazing. And then the woman at the post office, cause she's seen me there like three times this week, posting like about six different boxes of brownies. Um, every time that I go in, she's like, what's in the box? And I'm like, oh, it's brownies. And she's like, oh, okay. And then this time she was like, what's in the box? And I said, brownies. And she goes, do you make these? And I said, yeah, I, I said, I have a cake business, but I do postal brownies as well. And she said, oh, um, do you have like a card or anything? And I said, oh, I'll write down my um, like social media handles, like Instagram and stuff. And then I said, next time I'm in, I'll bring in a business card. Um, but yeah, so she was like, oh, I think I want some of these for Christmas when my daughter comes home from uni. And I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, it's, um, it was nice. Cause like I was so stressed and then, um, kind of a good thing came out of it because she wants to order. So um, yeah, that's exciting. Um, I've got to make some brownies now 
for tomorrow um and a couple of cupcakes as well so i'm gonna go and do that now but i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe and if you have any ideas of what you want to see then let me know down below i have quite a long list of cake related stuff um and like business related stuff that i'm doing over the next few weeks but if you want to see anything in particular let me know um, the KitchenAid review will be going up on Sunday, I think, um, because I have work over the weekend, um, part-time, so I don't think I'll get it done by tomorrow, so that will be going up on Sunday. Um, and also, I just noticed, which I wanted to thank you guys for, is I've just gone past 1600 subscribers i never even thanked you guys at 1500 um i think the last time i mentioned it was at a thousand but yeah it's at 1600 and i th everyone seems to be enjoying the cake content because i've been getting um like a lot more views and like subscribers since i started doing that so i'm glad that you guys are enjoying it i wasn't sure how much i wanted to show on here um, but I've had so many messages, like, you will probably know who you are, but I've had so many messages from, like, bakers and people starting their businesses saying how, like, incredibly helpful it is and that when they message other bakers, they don't reply and that's usually because it's competition. Um, but I had that issue as well and that's kind of why I wanted to reply and, like, why I wanted to make these videos is because I know that they're helpful and I wish someone had been making them when I started um so yeah I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying it and if there's anything you want to see especially leading up to Christmas because I'm doing vlogmas so there'll be videos every single day I'm planning on doing lots of decorating videos lots of like fondant um related videos like how to make Christmas fondant toppers stuff like that so if you want to see any of that please let me know so yes I will see you in the next one bye